Hello everybody, João Gagão from Massachusetts. This video is a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit more on a serious note, but I'm going to tell a couple funny stories. So recently, yesterday, we had uh, my uncle who passed away. Yesterday, December 22nd, in Traceda. And then this year, we also had my grandfather, my mother's father, passed away on March 14th in Portugal. So I wanted to... Um, do a couple stories for you guys and remembering them. Um, you know, it, we had two people pass away in my family, but I think other families have been impacted this year. And as it gets closer to the holidays, it also, uh, it sucks, right? I think everyone can agree. So it kind of sucks when we're losing family members close to the holidays. But uh, instead of getting ourselves down, I think we should tell funny stories about those individuals so we remember them and laugh a little bit. So... The first story I want to say is about my uncle Louis. I never got to meet him in person, but got to talk to him on Facebook message. So um, he was from Terceira. My father's family is from Terceira. So we, I had always done that accent as a joke, right? I've never actually been to Terceira, but I heard the accent. I could imitate it. Uh, so I always joke around the house, you know, Opa, vamos à festa, vamos aos restaurantes. Right? So, but never actually went to Terceira. My family uh, went, they went to Terceira once because they had to fly. Uh, I forget if it was from San Miguel to Terceira or, or whatnot, but they were there. And so they got to, you know, meet, um, see my Uncle Louie and everything like that. So afterwards, they come back. Everyone exchanges Facebooks, whatever. And so, um, I, again, I've never had experience that accent in real life or see it so my family facetimes my uh, uncle louis and so that was the first time i'm seeing someone probably authentically actually interested and whatnot and he just opens up the camera and just they go on uh, and he turns the camera and so it was just funny because i just couldn't contain myself i just started laughing and afterwards, everyone was like, what the hell is so funny? I was like, oh, it's just the accent. You know, it was the first time I actually heard that authentic uh, Terceira accent. So it was um, pretty funny. The second story I want to say is about my grandfather, my mother's father, uh, who passed away this year as well, back in March 14th. And we go to the mainland Portugal continent to, to meet him and see him and whatnot. And so he was, you know, military police, whole nine yards, was eventually the chief of police there. So uh, so we spent, I think it was, I don't know if it was two weeks or something like that um, over there a couple, uh, several years ago. And so that was my first time meeting him. But he was really a jokester, like most of uh, the individuals in my family. And so once the one particular day uh it was my whole family was there i was there my brother um I, my sister me my parents we all went and so he tells my brother sean uh oh sean vai buscar o anto o anto we're like what the what the heck is anto who the heck is anto so sean goes into my grandfather's uh room and in the cabinet, there was something covered with a towel. And so he comes out. He goes, I want to. And uh, we're like, what, what is it? Sean takes it out. This guy had a wooden bleaker. He got a bleaker made out of wood. Yeah. So uh, we were like, what? The? So it was like, I don't know, it was some joke that, I don't know, when he retired or something like that, someone made it or whatnot. I can't remember the exact story. But this guy had a wooden bleaker inside the house and he named it on tone right why is that funny years later i meet uh his brother right uh my uncle well however the family tree falls right my grandfather's brother um uh, we meet and his name is on tone so i'm like I, time just went by and i just remember that story I'm telling my parents, I go, you guys remember Anton, the, the wooden bleaker? They were like, yeah. I'm like, that guy 
probably named it after his brother, Antone. Uh, so that was a couple funny stories. They just threw everyone out when he, oh, he took that towel off and then boom. I mean, it was a big bleak. It was a big wooden bleak, you know what I mean? Uh, but at any rate, so I just wanted to share a couple funny stories. Uh, again, I think everyone's been impacted with COVID and everything. Um, family members have been passing away. Like I said, our Uncle Louie passed away yesterday, and earlier in the year we had uh, my mother's father pass away too on March 14th. So I wanted to share a couple stories uh, for everybody, uh, but to also remind you guys to enjoy the holidays, cherish the moments you have with your families, um, laugh a little bit, piss some people off, make some people laugh, have a good time. Have un cop de vin, uh, maybe one, two, three, you know what I mean? But I like to challenge everybody to do that uh, this year. When you're gathered around with your families, think of someone who's passed away in your family, whether it be recent or previously, and tell a funny story or share a funny memory, something that, you know, that uh, tugs at the heart for you and um, just enjoy that, right? Enjoy the sit there and laughter and have a good time um, because they always say life's too short. Now, at Mosh, we got to laugh a little bit too, huh? So that's my challenge to everyone out there. Think of someone who's passed away in your family and tell a funny story or a funny memory that you have of them. All right. Enjoy the holidays. Merry Christmas. Feliz Natal. Bush Fastish. And uh, remember, Juan loves you. Jujuj loves you. God bless.